Welcome back to Geiselsberg for episode 18 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's a new day. It's 10 past 7 in the morning. It rained pretty much all of yesterday. It showed the rain and it showed the sun next to it. And after a little while, the sun went and it stayed on rain and it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained. So I've come up to the store this morning to get the animal trailer for a very good reason. And look. I loaded these up yesterday, flipping vandals of just, oh, this was neatly stacked, it was wonderful, I thought I'll come up when the rain stops, we'll get it, we'll take it back, look at the state of that, yeah, we'll see if the police tweet about that, I get in trouble for road signs, I'm, I'm waggling my fist in the air at vandals, anyway, right, I needed 75 pigs to go to Big Popper C for Farmer Buttons and Farmer Pierce. I was up to 68. I needed seven more. If we check on our pigs, we have got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 7. Actually, yeah, 57, exactly. So I can take those seven off the top. They are going to be winging their way to Big Popper C in Dreistenhof. So what I'm going to do first is this. On my way... I've been waiting to do this contract. I really have been waiting for this contract. I've got two contracts for silage. Um, I did all that silage in the other day, put it in the bunker silo. Um, and I had one silage contract. I've now had a second one coming. Um, the first one is by... See what I mean? That wasn't even me. There's a road sign over there. I've, I've literally just come out. I came up from my farm there's another one there. Someone's doing this on purpose to get me in trouble. Anyway, um, yeah, from Wicked Smoke, um, it says I'm a farmer in Oregon. Just bought my first tract of land in Lone Oak. And I'm looking for 100,000 litres of silage for my cows. I'm willing to pay, it does say 2,000 per thousand. That seems a bit steep to me. Um, we'll come to an agreement. They don't mind if it comes loose or bailed. Well, we can do loose. That's not a problem at all just realised I've come kind of the wrong way. Just every single time I try and back around this corner, I should have done what the lorry driver did the other day and gone straight up and then, oh no, we'll get around there. Oh. See, sometimes it just works. Other times it's horrific. Oh, I can't remember what it was now. How many of each? Let me just double check that. Hang on one second. Okay, so we need uh, one, two, three black. We need one, two pink. Then one black and white. One white. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Confirm. Check that now. That will show us that. Yep, there we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Brilliant. We're back to our 50 stock. Close that up. So, Big Popper C, these are heading off to you. That's the first 75. The next 75 will be the Christmas hams you do for underprivileged families. Now, we have got fields ready to go, um, but I'm doing the silage contracts. What we will do is take these off. They're all different ways to go, but we're going to go this way. So there we go. That's the first job done. Next, I need to go and get the uh, wood, not wood chipper, the, you know the thing I mean. Milling machine is the word it's done for, not wood chipper. And a trailer, and we'll go over to the silage pile. This contract, this next one I'm very excited about. I need to get for it before we get there. Um, very excited. Anyway, so this is from Rod, um, and this says, where are we? Uh, oh, they was talking to Papa, and it says we may be able to help each other due to bad weather conditions in the local area here. Um, I need to contract a supply of silage or chaff and grass to make silage for BGAs. They run plant matter through, th right, so he supplies three BGAs. They're running very low on supplies on silage and can we help out? 
um, they will pay us a good rate for silage if we provide them with chaff they'll pay us 75 percent of that rate and if we provide them with chopped grass they'll pay 60 percent of that rate but here's the beauty of this deal um, because their contractor can't do the job for them that's why they're running low they are loaning me a piece of equipment for the duration of this contract this is not ours to keep this is like another trial one um, this is my favoritest vehicle ever if you've watched any of my vlogs if you've watched my visits to class Rickaby if you've watched my class stuff I've said this many times before the class Jaguar Terra Track this is being loaned to us for the duration of the contract he's going to be supplying three BJ's so we're going to be supplying him he wants 250,000 litres of silage straight off the bat he does have digest that he can give us if we want that too now we'll went for the fence now we've got over 500,000 litres here so what I can do straight away um, I can provide 100,000 litres for wicked smoke and for Rod, I can do his 250,000 litres straight away. But what we are going to do is go down to the cornfield where we did the maize. I know corn and maize, it gets confusing. The maize for um, Halloween for the kids. Um, and we are going to chop that, silage it, or chaff it, put it in our bunker silo down on the farm, and we'll produce some more. So we're going to do as much as we possibly can. I mean, to be fair, I don't even have to put it in the bunker silo. I could just deliver it to him as chaff, because it says in here they'll take chopped grass, chaff, or silage. But we'll get a better rate if we do it as silage, so we might as well put it in our bunker silo, compact it, and make the money on it. Um, so, yeah, I've been waiting, waiting so long to use this piece of equipment. It just is gorgeous. I got to see a real one at Agrotechnica, and it's just amazing. Anyway, so, what I'm going to do to start off with... Now, this is... Oh, right, I need to see something with... Now, if you look at the top left-hand corner, look, this is the problem. We're using the Sintrack and an IT runner. <laughs> How many different attachments have I got on that? That is bonkers. Uh, if I do... That, that's kind of about right. So I can raise it. He says, and lower it, that will put it in position, open it up, turn it on, okay, right, so let's do 45,000 litres each, that'll be 90,000, so that'll be another 10,000 litres, so two loads and a bit, and that'll be us sorted for um, Wicked Smoke, I'm just scrolling through those, sorry, at the top, just trying to get that just right. Turn it on. This Miller machine is awesome. I love it. And to be honest with you, when you see silage piles, and it's the one thing in game we don't really kind of get, is the um, those feed mixers that have the arm on the front that raises and lowers. When you see bunker silos fully compacted and then they get uncovered, it's like a solid wall. And as they, it's almost like they, they cut through. So those arms will go right to the top of a pile and they'll take great big chunks out the side of it. It's not kind of loose like this appears to be on the floor. Um, so using a milling machine is not, so I say, a milling machine. This is this is a milling machine, but using snow blowers and things. I've seen all sorts of videos on YouTube of people doing it, which is incredible. I was talking to Big Popper C the other day. There seems to be a lot of confusion as well. Papa Farms is Baron Papa. Um, Papa Farms is um, run by him. Big Popper C is Popper, not Papa. I think people are confusing Big Papa C with Papa Farms. Um, they are two different people, although I am working doing jobs for both, and they are different people. So that we'll get into this pile nice and early, get the first 45,000 litres off the smoke, and then um, the next 45 I'll probably do off screen nearly there with the full trailer whether it will fill it completely sometimes they don't like to all right now it says 45,095 down the bottom 95 is being held in the middle machine so what we'll do is we'll turn that off we'll just drop that off the front right so this first load's going to go off i'll do a second and then 10,000 litres and that'll be the uh 
100,000 litres. Like I say, he offered a very high rate, and we're going to take a lower rate, but this is going to make us a tiny bit of money, actually. So, uh, more than happy to do this. Our money is up at 157,000. We were paid for the pigs we delivered the other day, and now we've obviously delivered another seven, so we'll get a little bit more money for those, but we have been paid for those pigs, which is all good. Okay, in there we have got the last 10,000 litres, so we've done two loads of 45 and 10, that's 100,000 for Wicked Smoke. Um, that's going to be winging its way to you, one of the workers is going to take that off while he's doing that, or she's doing that, depends, I don't know who's going to turn up to do it. We're going to whiz down to field, what was it, 53? I can't remember now. I think the pumpkin's been removed as far as I'm aware, because obviously that's starting to go a little bit gross. Let me just take this in for a moment. Uh, we're going to need the corn header. That's the Orbis 900. Yeah, 9 metre header. Should make fairly light work of it. Plus it's got the extension on the pipe, so it's a slightly longer pipe. Hang on just a minute. Theory, bro. Isn't it weird? It's like, and this is kind of those childhood memory things. Having gone from being a kid, playing with Britain's toys and stuff on the living room carpet, my dad printing Farmers Weekly and bringing copies home. And this being one of my favourite things, and seeing one for real. I know this is virtual, I know it is, but that's that weird thing. You're kind of like, I don't want to be inside it, I want to be outside looking at it all the time. Right, we're going to go... I really do need to make that road, don't I? We're going to go out, right, and then round the back road. I need to make it that road, do that logging contract where I make the road through from the biogas here. Now we also, I don't know trailer-wise, I suppose a random would work. We have got our IT runner. I might just run alongside it, actually. I don't know, really. I haven't decided yet. We're going to get this down to the field. Let's roll back the old cruise control, because we're going a little bit too fast. So we can match the traffic. What's it doing? 20, 19. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? 
cool. It's a thing of beauty. I mean, most manufacturers going around Agritechnica I just have an appreciation and love for machinery and engineering and design and that kind of thing. There's some gorgeous stuff out there. Some, the manufacturers are making some incredible machinery at the moment. Most, all manufacturers, let's be honest, they all look incredible. But I don't know what it is about these. Just me personally, I guess. I suppose if you like something a lot, for whatever reason, you kind of blinkered anyway. You, you know, most people, people probably look and go, well, I can't stand it. And that's that's the point of personal preference, isn't it? For whatever reason. Anyway, I'm going to see you down there in a minute. We'll get that last 10,000 litres taken and we'll get a vehicle brought down with that trailer and let's get some of this stuff done. And I'm, oh, I'm looking forward as well to tipping into that bunker silo because we've got the, uh, the lightweight wing on our farm now because of the uh, charitable donation we received. Um, we can use that tip in from the back bunker silo, so off the road kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, we'll give that a go. We'll do a few, a few couple of pits, a few bits. You know what I mean. Yeah, to our right is those bunker silos. So you can back up some and tip in. That's, I'm just looking forward to using those. That's the field just here. What we'll do, I think... Let's pull into the field next door. We need to wait until the trailer gets here before we can even start. Sun seems to be burning off a lot of the uh, mist and moisture in the air. But... Beacons can go off. This is the other thing as well. I think on one of my videos, I, I from Agrotechnica, my walkabout videos, I was right in front of the um, the Kemper ones of these. These as well. These corn headers, huge and terrifying looking from in front as well. Uh, pipe out. We are good to go for the moment. Sorry, I'm just going to keep stopping and looking at it. I can't help myself. Right. What I'm going to do is check on the chickens, actually. While we're waiting for the trailer to come. Just hop down there. So it should have been producing and we should have stuff on that trailer in those pallets. Oh yeah. Oh, fair bit as well actually. That's weird. Two at the back, one at the front. But the egg boxes are going in there. Oh, okay, that works out nicely. Well, oh, they're making a bit of a mess as well to clean up. Uh, right, cool. Well, I just want to check and make sure that's all right. So, back to the Jaguar and then we'll... Um, Wait on the trailer. Finally, trailer's here. Um, I think the Zerion was feeling a bit left out. We're becoming a bit of a class farm, aren't we? I'm just thinking. These two, class harvester, class um, telehandler. Mind you, that's not ours, that's just leased. And we are moving into that bracket where we might be able to upgrade this as well at some point. Anyway, work. Yes. No, I don't think... One, this doesn't have a rear PTO, and these are very picky about what trailers they'll hook up to, so I don't think it's going to hook up to the IT runner. 
Not that I would try and make it hook up to IT run. I'm just thinking that Zerian's quite long. Whether or not I'm better off running up the field first, maybe. If I run across the bottom, there's telegraph poles. I might get in next to them if I come in behind the header. Just thinking if I can line this up. Get a worker on it. And we'll come into the side. That's why I'm glad we got a longer pipe on this one. We'll come in here. Oh, we might be alright, you know. Now, quickly, we're going to fill up though, but. What I need to do, why I'm just going in there, I'm going to roll my cruise control back, sorry. That's solid. Ah, uh, it's gone of course. Oh yes, I've gone of course, I just didn't set it up quite right, did I? Trying to do too many things at once. Let's roll the cruise control back. Get that down to about... 6. Maybe we'll notch down on that. It's only a little bit, but... too quick for me. I need some warning. Can't just go uh, doing that. Alright, I'm trying to think how we're going to do this. I think we might come back to that bit in a minute. So without a trailer on the back of it, it's quite tricky to get it just right, isn't it? Hmm. Lots of fun. Let's just whip the header through there. Telegraph poles. Anything else? I haven't got to the uh, maze yet, but I'm going to be gutted by me to say, uh, start cutting into that. Disappears again. Where will the pipe be long enough? Might. So I move forward, it's going to hit that post, isn't it? Okay. Fingers crossed, no more. We shouldn't have any more. Oh no, look, we're eating into the maze. Oh, sad times. We 
match the cruise control. We're not edging ahead. Perfect. See what it does when it gets to the end. <clears throat> we'll just match whatever we need to do. It's maybe tricky. It says. What's he doing? So one thing for the farmers in this area, they really go right up to the field edges, they don't give a lot of space for anything. Um, let me think, let me think, right. Don't really want to get into the trees. Right, I'll sort something out and we'll get this going. Might just do a strip straight across actually. See if we can tuck in behind it. Let's do that. Our first load unloaded. Actually, we're not going to get very far at all, are we? We're on 31,000 litres already. Can I get a tuck in behind that header? Probably. Without touching any crop, I'm so close to the back of that harvester. It's not too bad. Almost rubbing wheels, mud guards. I'm not doing a bad job. Nearly full. I'll check out the new uh, the new pit. go, we are full, which means I've got a back ball out now. Now this is the point where you'd have a second, third, fourth driver and trailer. One would drop off, next one would drop on. I think I filmed it one of my vlogs up in the Lake District last summer. It was brilliant to watch. They were, I think they were running five. I'm sure they were running five tractor trailer combos. Not too far to go as well to the bunker silo, which is quite handy. Tidy up edges and stuff later. Since I very first looked around the area when I was offered the job, I've been itching to use this bunker silo. Reminds me of the ones on the Valley Old Farm. We had the ramps. That's weird. Ah, there we go. Just wasn't quite far enough back. Oh, that's going to be annoying if it does that. Whoa! Oh, come on. I can't go any further back than that. I'm going to lose the whole lot off the edge. Oh, that's frustrating.
So we're a little bit more fiddly than I hoped. Whoa. <laughs> Precarious is probably the best way of putting that. Well, it went in anyway. So as you can imagine, I've got a lot more to do. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done in this episode. We'll get a load in anyway. I mean, we've only done a couple of strips and that's 45,000 litres already. I'm reckoning 600,000 litres. Oh, mind you, the maze is in the middle. Maybe. Maybe. Of all times, my Santa ring. What a muppet. He moved out recently. I say recently, probably about five months ago, actually. Barely see him. Only rings when he wants something. There's a shocker. Kids, go. What's it going to do now? It's weird, it doesn't seem to... A worker gets the field edges and then kind of gives up. He's going to turn around. Wow, he's going to do his thing. Get right out of his way as quickly as possible. Where's it going? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Could be anywhere. Right, I'll go up through the trees. Come back around. There. Now we can run alongside a bit better. There we go. It's missed a little bit, but not too much. Fantastic, right? I say I've got work to do now. A little weird. I would have put money on him turning the other way. Reach control on. We are rocking and rolling. I'm just going to continue to watch the uh, jaguar. Do its thing. Those tracks on it. I'll be honest with you, the maze is proving harder to cut than I thought it would. Simply because the worker gets to gaps, thinks it's the end of the field and then turns around. So this is taking a bit of time to do all the bits around here. So I have to kind of keep having to jump in and out and do strips up and then around. So what I might do, I think now, is I'll concentrate on the outside um, because it's going to be easier to do that. And the maze, I'll have to finish off later on pumpkin has definitely gone so what we'll do is we'll go back round to the edge we'll do all the main stuff where there are no gaps and i'll come back and do that bit because that is going to require a lot of jumping in and jumping out We've done a fair bit of the field actually i think we're up to about 200 and something thousand liters well, i could be wrong there actually i may have severely overestimated how much is in that bunker silo let's just whiz over and have a look interestingly it was a bit of a pain to start off with, but once, and it's a bit odd, once the silage piles up here, and it piles up higher than the edge, you can actually back up off the edge onto the, the, the silage that's there, so it doesn't drop off the back then. But that's, 
okay. How much have we got in there? 211,000. So, what did I say? I reckon we'd have 600,000 odd, something like that. I'm not sure that's going to be the case. I don't know. Yeah, possibly near. I'm going to hold my breath. Who knows? What I'm going to do? Hide the worker. No, it's costing me money. I should have probably hired the worker when I got back, but, you know, everyone needs a bit of extra money in the pay packet, don't they? I'm really enjoying using this combo. It's really cool. It's working rather well. We won't be long until we're done. Um, part of that silage contract as well being we've got the grass headed there as well, so we can just cut grass. I mean, technically it's going through a forage hub, so it would be chaff, but there's always that kind of, you know, it comes up as grass. I don't know, it's a bit weird. That's why I'd rather put it into a bunker silo. Cruise control on. Now, um, this may be a slightly shorter episode. I'm going to carry on the rest of this in the next episode, which will be in a couple of days, because I've got a plane to catch. Um, so that's why I'm have to cut this one. I'm just watching the clock, and I've got loads to do, and I've got I'm an impact. So um, I'm off to Hero Fest for the next of the Farming Simulator League tournaments. Only a week between the last one and this one, so it hasn't given me a lot of time to do anything. That's why I've been trying to. I, I kind of swamped everything with videos from Agritechnica and all that kind of thing because I just wanted to try and get as much done as I possibly could before um, before I went. The guys from Giants that work on the Farming Simulator League team, which is a separate team to everything else, and everyone keeps doing that, you know, they're taking people away from other jobs. They're Farming Simulator League guys now, that's kind of what they do. Um, they literally finished in uh, Agritechnica, loaded up the, tr the lorry and drove straight to setting up Hero Fest. They have another break in between at all. Feel for those guys and they work some ridiculously long hours too. Anyway, we are going to knock it on the head here. We are going to finish off in the next episode. Don't worry, we'll compact the bunker silo. We'll make sure this field is cleared. We'll get some more use out of the Jaguar because I'm really enjoying doing that. We'll probably do some grass as well, I think, with that. We should get paid for that 100,000 litres that's been delivered um, to uh, Wicked Smoke. Um, yeah, all good. Everything's, everything's fine. Fine and dandy on Kaisersburg. I'm really enjoying playing on this map as well, which is always half the battle. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.